Where are your biggest breakthroughs? Um, and I would, um, for me, this is doing the unthinkable, you know, to break through. It's always, um, you have to challenge your assumption, maybe your limiting belief. What were your biggest breakthroughs recently? Um, we moved the entire business to California during the pandemic. When people were kind of, um, you know, hunkering down and businesses were shrinking, we were growing. And I think the breakthroughs there was, we were faced with challenges. We had to deliver to the US Army. Half of our team had to all work from home. We had a few developers and engineers who had to move back to Scotland because they wanted to be close to their family. But we had made commitments and we had to live, to, live through with those commitments. It's how you think creatively and if something that might be a roadblock for somebody, but it becomes an opportunity for you, if you look at it the right way, those are the kind of breakthroughs that I'm talking about when breakdown happens. Truly, I think the systems that the way we knew them did break down when globally we faced the pandemic. And now we're facing different types of challenges with what's happening in Ukraine and other places. How we come together and build on top of those is where the breakthroughs happen. Um, my business partner and I trusted our intuition about moving to San Francisco. It, we didn't have all the data or Emeryville where we are headquartered now near Berkeley, but we knew that it would have, what we focused on was delivery to the customer. How do we make sure with all the challenges we are facing, we continue to deliver? So when you focus on the right things, you might not have all the answers, but you have to keep trusting and keep moving forward. Right? You don't need all the answers. You need step one and two, and you have to be have the courage to take those steps. Yeah, I, I love I love your answer. Uh, that's it's really amazing. It's really what we have talked a lot about flow. Um, a lot of a lot of these flow principles are really ingrained in in what you do, and when you talk about it uh, about going through this breakthrough, it sounds so easy. What can you can you give a tip on how to how to break through? Uh, you know, you you mentioned so many many um, um, many aspects which are so difficult to do, and and um, especially in the pandemic, everyone said, "Oh, we can't do this because of the pandemic." Uh, so many used it as as uh, reasons for not to do anything. So so how how could it break through? I, I think um, one of the aspects is fear is an interesting. Um, you know, a lot of times we um, label things good or bad, right? Joy is good, fear is bad. Um, the ability to actually create space so that you understand what your fear is, where your fear is coming from. We obviously ha have fear as a mechanism to sometimes equip us to make the right decisions. So you can't always discount it. The ability to actually acknowledge it, understand where it's coming from, allows you to essentially uh, understand how much importance you wanna give it. And while knowing it, despite of that fear, sometimes you have to take steps and that's when the breakthrough happens, right? Um, a lot of times, if you've ever done um, bungee jumping or skydiving, you know you have the safety or even scuba diving. When you dive into the waters, you know that you have all the equipment and Hopefully all of your equipment has been checked before you jump into the water and that your equipment will help you as long as you kind of follow the indication of what needs to be followed. However, when you're about to jump into that water, there is a very core aspect of you that is fearful of the unknown. But you do it despite of that. And yes, some will say knowing you have your equipment gives you the assurance to go through it. And that is what it is. That is where preparedness comes in. That's where knowing what your fear is and still going through it comes in. And then after all of that, you have to be okay with the unknown. 
you can't have all of the answers up front. I'm just smiling because I, I just took the step of, um, of building my own, own company and so many people tell you not to do it. Yeah. And uh, tell you that you will fail, which is really encouraging. And um, I always have to smile within me and say, okay, you know, I don't have all the answers, but I have the confidence that it will happen. Yeah. And then continuously um, preparing yourself, right, for knowing that if you will be faced and having that confidence within you, right? I, my business partner and I know that we will face challenges, but we also know that we will be able to address them head on 